Hi guys, so we're here today with Duchess who's just been recently advertised and we're just going to do a little bit of flat work and a few jumps for you guys just to show a bit more about her. So I think uh, she's a Cleveland Bay cross stock horse. You guys can find all the info about her breeding and her full ad and all that kind of stuff. Uh, she is uh, quite a good mover and quite good on the flat uh, but still green in some ways and still needs quite a uh, confident rider I would say and she's just started jumping Ben has she, is that right? Yeah, I so. she's done a little bit of so a little bit of hunting, which is probably more plain jumps, but sort of just starting her show jumping. And she's been quite good, she's starting to take to it. So Ben will do a few jumps for you as well. Uh, so when you're ready, Ben, let's go forward to walk. Uh, we might meander down to the A end a little bit so we have less jumps around. She's got quite a nice neck set, I think. This is quite, it's quite attractive, got a nice arch to it. And elegant as she starts to fill out and build some more muscle. She's a little bit of a hair bear at the moment, but uh, not too bad. Good. So you can see she's got quite a good overtrack there and quite active in the walk. Ben's just working on getting her a little bit uh, stretching there, a little soft. He might make a bit more left flexion before he goes to trot if he can. You can see, uh, I could see there's a little, um, the Ben, quite, like, oh gosh, sorry guys, wasn't quite there. Good, whenever you're ready, Ben, let's go forward to trot. That's a lovely walk though. Nice. So as he's warming up here, you can see straight off the bat, the rhythm's really nice, it's quite active. Good ground cover, looks quite regular, nice swing, so that's a good start. So I guess his pro probably his priority will be more in the lateral bend, okay, so a little bit more around the inside leg, a little bit more flexion, and just being mindful that as he starts to make that, he doesn't uh, lose the quality of the pace. Okay, so he wants to maintain that nice active pace as he asks for a little bit more connection from the inside hind to the outside rein which is hard because as you're loading up that hind leg, she might think, oh, this is a bit hard and sort of slow down a little bit to offload some of that. Yep, so we might just spiral in a little bit here, Ben. So by changing the line, it's gonna just help Duchess to get a little bit better uh, flexion. So you're just bringing that in, which is a nice, easy way to do it. And then he'll start to feel like, although he's turning it towards me a little bit, he's gonna sort of feel like he's pushing her from the front of the ribs back out into the outside rein, but continuously still turning a little bit towards me. That's going to help him. That combination of turning and yielding is just going to help uh, him to unlock that bend there. Yeah, super nice. Good. And yeah, you can see there he's just starting to change the rhythm a little bit there. So he was doing some half halts and then opening up the trot. We might do one or two more of those before we have a canter. You can see there she's quite good at the forward part of that exercise. The half halt, you can see there's a little weakness there, which is reflected in a bit of resistance in the hand. Nice, good work. Whenever you're ready, Ben, you can have a little canter. So when he's going to canter, guys, he's gonna be quite soft with the inside rein to not interrupt. You can see like, even though he was sort of turning her to help set up for the canter, he made sure he gave her plenty of space for the inside hind to come through and encourage her to pop into canter, maintaining that bend that he spent that time creating in the trot. Again, it's quite a nice pace, the canter. It's quite active, good ground cover. He's just gently sort of setting her up to have a little bit more bend, which is gonna come. You can see that flexion isn't easy. It's a little bit sticky still, but getting better all the time. If he does get a little stuck, you might find that he'll open his outside rein a little bit and flex her a bit more and see if he can push her into the space that he creates as the, by the boundary of the outside rein. Excellent. Whenever you're ready, Ben, you can probably come down to trot. So when he prepares for that, he'll sort of use a bit more flexion and yield, find his rhythm in the trot. Yeah, good. And then somewhere we're gonna change rein and we're gonna try and maintain this trot. That's an awesome trot there. She's really moving, using herself, but we'll see if she can maintain that through the change of, um, change of rein. Nice work. How do you find this bend compared to the other one, Ben? Uh, give me a minute. Okay. The answer there, if you didn't hear that, guys, was give me a minute. So he's just going to have a feel. It looks like she's more bendy this way, but maybe a little more like sliding out. Would that be right? Okay. So although, though it looks a little bit more like she's more around the inside leg, guys, um, he's having to do a little bit more work to straighten the shoulder here because it looks like it's just easy to get too much 
and then be bordering on falling out and over flexed right a little bit. Nice um, in terms of the movement though. We might just see before we uh, change the pace, can we make any counter flexion this way? Yep, that was good, but you did see a change in the rhythm and a little bit of crack at moment. I could see that that was gonna be there, but that's what this is all about guys, showing you those little bits. So just by that change of flexion, you can see that maybe there's a little bit of an issue with the straightness in the left shoulder or maybe the mobility of the left shoulder as well. So just trying to supple that up. Good, that was good to see as Ben just fixed his headphone. Uh, he, she stayed nicely in that next exit. Actually, we might even do that. So Ben, can you soften both reins and see if she maintains the rhythm? Perfect, good, well done. Carry the right hand a little bit. Keep, yeah, turning a little bit more. Can we change the rhythm? So we're gonna ask for a little bit more trot. Yep, you can see those changes of rhythm where she really has to use her back a little bit there. It was a little awkward still because she has to really contract and expand and she's still a little... Oh, okay. Ben's just saying it was more of a reaction to the hand. But, you know, the hand is asking... Um, sorry, guys, I just zoomed out instead of in. Uh, you know, asking her to... Like use her back. Yeah. So Ben's just saying it feels like a. Re and then be ready with my leg to tend her forward. Yeah. So he's sort of saying that as he asked her to um, shorten, that she can be a little bit abrupt. Okay. So obviously, if she's abrupt, she doesn't have to use herself as much. So she's kind of trying to slam on the brake. So it's a little bit jolty there. So he's looking for a bit more of a cohesive sort of. That was nice. Yeah, so that's not anything to, you know, that's not a deterrent, guys. If you want to, if you feel like you're getting that, see this little where she finds that a little hard to really unlock through her back and just kind of, yeah, perfect. And she's getting more accepting of all the aids, the hand and the leg there. But it is a bit of a matter of timing. So as Ben asks her to wait, he needs to be ready to kind of um, apply the leg at the right time. Woo. Okay, whenever you're ready, Ben, I think we can have a canter right. You can just see that shoulder starting to drift a fraction out. So he's going to just probably straighten that before he goes. Nice. There was a little delay in that counter transition because he had to just watch the straightness there. You can see he's doing a little bit of work on turning. So you can see there um, the way that Ben's using the right rein is to make sure, because if he just pulls that right rein, he's going to end up with too much neck bend. So he's having to give and take a little bit. Uh, to specifically target the turning of the shoulder rather than, um, you know, if he started to drag it with the inside rein too much by just sort of holding it steady pressure, he might end up leveraging the whole neck over. And when that happens often, we'll give a little bit too much in the outside rein and lose the outside shoulder. So he's kind of giving and taking, checking in with that outside rein every now and then and just keeping her on those train tracks so she's not falling in or out too much. So a little bit of management going on in this canter. A little bit more counter, I reckon. Good, and when you're ready, Ben, I think you can find your trot for me. And we might just pop a couple of fences. So I've just got a vertical plank and a crossbar set up down here. So Ben's gonna probably pick that up when he's ready. I'm gonna head down there. Are you gonna just come in trot first? Yeah. Oh, you can do those poles if you want to. It's a couple of poles set up. Excellent. Keeping the rhythm the same. Good girl, that was nice. Just a little bit of steering there, picking up some angled cavalettis. Incidentally, when he's on, when going past. Excellent. Very good. Oh, sorry, guys. Got a lot of sleep last night. It's been a big couple of days here. Lots of ponies to work, new ones to photograph, and content to edit, and things like that. All right. It's good to see her reaction to having a rail, guys. She's not too uh, freaked out by that. It was a hard angle, probably about 70 centimeter vertical, I would say. She's quite a nice type, this little mare, and I like the way she moves. I think she could make a really good all-rounder prospect or an eventer. 
So we've sort of done, yeah, a little bit of hunting. She was actually broken in Western, so I probably should have mentioned that at the start, uh, and then converted later to more of a dressage focused career. Uh, so still learning and, you know, had, had some good experiences and good exposure, uh, but, and, and a bit of a mix of things. Um, but yeah, some things are still a little new to her. Very good. You don't have to do too much more, Ben. Maybe a couple of right canner ones and then that'll do. Whoop, <laughs> little wobbly coming into the rosette that way. I'm not sure if she's jumped the rosette before. It's a little bit more crooked this way, so it might be a bit harder for him to get a distance in this right canter, but actually really well done there. Nice, good rhythm, nice and consistent. Relatively straight, which is good. Nice, good work. I'm pretty happy with that, Ben, if you want to come back to trot. Yeah, and just come towards me. Just show me a bit of a like hands forward or loose range so she's not we can show you guys how she is after a bit of a jump that she's not getting too fizzy or strong so he has got one range you just can't see from the angle but here we go perfect yeah and see if he can pull her up just like that yeah perfect good work guys good girl duchess so yeah guys that's a little bit more about duchess so if you have any questions please feel free to shoot us a message um and if you want to discuss uh suitability for your uh for yourself or something like that um we'd love to hear from you so yeah anyway that's duchess